Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me again. I'm Dr. Riden. Hello for guys, good day to all of you. It's me again. I'm Dr. Riden, and I am an eye and vision health specialist, currently based here in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. For today's vlog, it's all about causes of color blindness or color deficiency. It is a very interesting topic because most of the vlogs that I have uploaded in the past days is all about the color deficiency, how it affect, affects, how it's really important to know if you are, uh, if you are, you know, if you have color deficiency or what to do or what is the management or what to do if you if you have color deficiency so by this time it's all about causes how it is being transmitted or how can we get this kind of problem aside from problem of your vision we should also take a look and consider about the color blindness but before that i would like to flex first my current member who joined or purchase my my join button it's only one join button to tour all in one so take a look and watch this one my book I reviewed the book the clinical examination of the eye and it says here the types of color vision defect we need to take a look what are the types of color defect or color problem no color vision problem so first here is congenital or uh, acquired congenital it's run through um, during pregnancy or when you were being um, formed nine months in your in the womb of your mother so there must be a problem being transmitted there and also acquired so acquired you you may get this one or from your you know workplace or from mechanical reasons so this is congenital it's from development or when you were in the womb and also from any diseases or mechanical that's acquired and the other one here is we have the total or partial partial or total blindedness or partial maybe your eyes are just weak and and also there are primary colors the red green the red blue and yellow that's the primary colors that we have so it might be that your eyes is just so weak in determining the vision the colors i have here also the the eye model so as i have told you in my in my, i have had my previous blogs about the the causes the main causes of the color blindness is anatomically speaking within our eyes in, in front you know it's in inside the retina or the innermost part of the eye so as we open this eyes the eye model so there is a part there in your eye the innermost part of your eye so you know this part already so we are going to break the part so this is the crystalline lens and this is the nerve optic nerve the one that carries impulses going to your brain so and the innermost part of your eye so this is the crystalline lens the innermost part of the eye as you see this one circle inside so again this is a model so you will see you will find there the retina or the innermost part or the nervous part of the eye why because in the retina there is a central um, macula centralis no? or fovea centralis <laughs> what i mean so this is the innermost and in that area there are the color 
bearing cells or the photoreceptors or the cells that are responsible for color determination so that's the cones so the cones there is a red the green and the blue cones that they are responsible for color the red one is the longest wavelength and it depends upon their wavelengths so just take a look this one if you have the problem if the cells that you know carries or is the one that's responsible for the red color detection if you have the pro problem there or the cells are just so weak in determining that color so every time there are colors mixing or during at night so there's a lot of colors inside or you see a lot of colors outside so you might probably won't able to recognize them so that's why your red might be a weak weak cells or anywhere in the uh, in the cells so in the retina so as we all know we see things we see the, in this world colors and we appreciate things through colors so if you have the problem with that you may not be able to appreciate colors and there are you know your problem with security safety wherever you go whatever you do right so first causes is simply the you know the retina itself the anatomical or the parts of the eye itself so when you have the problem with the red color so automatically it transmitted also a weaker area weaker in the brain so the brain will tell you that oh you have a weaker red so you will not be able to see them or if it's blue or yellow so the causes also is that if you gonna rule out as one of the causes or the types is the congenital it might be inherited from your father's side or your mother just take a look this illustration and you will find out from the x-link from genetics good example of a father is being affected and his two sons are automatically affected also because of the x-link recessive genes that only one copy of x-link are being passed through the disorder or the bad genes the two daughters are being spared from the bad genes because of the reserve 2x-link but they might be the carrier of the bad genes and it will pass from generation to another generations so guys we have just heard or know or understand about the genetics or transmission from your father's link x link x chromosomes so the chromosome thing so just take a look with this if you if your father has or having a diabetes or hypertension so you it might be there is a big possibility that you can get that problem or any problems that we have that's inherited <clears throat> because it runs through the blood you get your gen genes dna or dioxyribonucleic acid in the blood of your mother or father that pa the parents so that's one of the causes genetics and also acquired as what i have learned acquired thing is just maybe you have you know you have the maintenance the medication before and your eyes get toxic on that so it might be the causes or tox toxic brought by side effects or many high powered antibiotics so that might be one of the side effects Example, the um, chlorampenicol, the ciprofloxacin, some of the medicines, the antibiotics, the high-powered antibiotics. If you are, you know, long-standing taking the drugs before for a long time, or maybe um, anti-TB drugs or tuberculosis drugs, so probably your eyes are get will get affected or affected with that problem and there's a lot maybe the myth thing that you know some some studies you know uh, alcoholism and also cigarettes so so whatever exists on that 
problem or on that thing the, with the antibiotics or chemicals it reacts your eyes so it might be there is a side effect among those things so guys that's acquired so another thing also is that a total blindedness or color vision of course if your eyes the nerves inside your eyes so you know that your nerve is like that crossing dissection or dissection or something like crossing within the left what what you see in your right eye is projected to the right to the left eye and vice versa because of the crossing of your optic nerves inside the brain so like that so if there is a problem along the pathway of your eye from the cornea going through the retina the optic nerve uh, what are the cells inside the l um, what we call that one i just forgot in that and then also the occipital lobe the one that is the part of your brain that is responsible for vision any in that area in the pathway of your vision are affected there might be a color problem there total or partial it depends upon the affected area so just take a look in that so if this is your optic nerve we know that optic nerves has one million optic nerves in our in, inside our eyes so for example if this is affected area the optic nerve the left this one the affected area so whether if this is the red color or the blue color that color will be affected as well if this is blue and this is green or any other color that specific nerve transmission will also be the color you know consisting of colors will be affected as well so that's the problem behind for any reason mechanical tumors inside your eye inside your brain as well so it will might be might press your optic nerve so impending your good vision color vision it's along that process so that's acquired that partial or you know partial or total and we have also guys the the last one is the primary color so that's really uh, you know important we have the red and green deficiency red and green and we have the yellow and blue problem in my previous vlogs I have uh, feature features about the blinking light in uh, from the ship in the in the port it depends upon if you have the problem with red and green so it goes along the process so guys hopefully in this short vlog you may be able to understand the causes in um how we get uh how you you get that problem so guys thank you so much for listening in this video and i really appreciate your time in watching and listening to me with um, with this topic causes of color deficiency so guys next time i'll see you around and hopefully you'll be joining with me and it's so glad it's my honor and my joy on flexing your channel next time so thank you so much guys for watching this premiere 